Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to model the hands. In the previous video, we modeled the entire body out of one box, and we're gonna do the same with the hand. We're gonna start this hand with one box and model everything out of that. And so, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Here we have the file without the hands, and we're gonna get started by, you guessed it, doing a box. So go ahead and add a box, Shift A, and uh, add a cube. Here's the cube. Move it into place and scale it. S to scale. And I want to scale it to about the size of the palm. We go to top view and place it where I need it. And that's about, in the top view, that's about the size of the palm that I want. Maybe just a little bit bigger. S about there. But in the front view, we're going to make it significantly smaller. Let's uh, scale it only in the Z and make it about roughly about the size of the palm if you were looking at it sideways. All right, cool. We've got the palm and it's just the box. I'm going to hit um, period. And like I said, it's just the box. So uh, let's go to the front view and let's go to tab. And I want to add a couple of subdivisions here. So command R and then let's add three subdivisions for a total of four segments. One, two, three, four. And so if you see your palm uh, from the side, I'm gonna go to vertex mode and I'm gonna bring these up and I'm gonna bring these down a bit. And this is where the finger is going to come out of. Uh, this is the padding for the finger, right about there. Uh, we need to crease it and then this is the padding um, at the back of your hand towards the wrist. And so again, this is like the little pad on your palm. And this is the other one by the finger. And we're going to extrude the fingers this way. I'm going to maybe push this a little bit just to give it a little curve. All right, cool. That's the palm. In the top view, it just looks like a box. So let's go ahead and uh, add... A few segments command R and we need four fingers so we're gonna do three segments left click and then right click and we got one two three four fingers out of here and so this is where we're going to extrude the fingers from out of here I'm just gonna um, turn off x-ray for a minute go to face mode and select all those faces because we are going to extrude them uh, before we extrude them though I like to add a little segment right here. And so let's go ahead and hit I to inset. I, and then we're going to inset. Now, I'm gonna undo that. If your inset does this, and you wanna separate them, uh, you, can all, you can easily do that by hitting I, I, and then it'll do the inset like this. And so what I'd like to do is go ahead and Pull them out just a little bit. That is the base of the finger. And so from the top view, I am going to extrude them straight out to about the size of the finger. So E to extrude, and I'm going to extrude four fingers out like this. We are also going to do, uh, we're going to just barely uh, hit S and size these just a little bit because we are going to fix these vertices over here. Now, I'm going to turn X-ray mode again, go to one, uh, vertex mode. I'm going to grab all these vertices and start pushing them out just a little closer to each other. We don't need that big gap. I, I just did that to get a little gap. And so we're going to do this and just start pushing these closer together. And for instance, this one all the way out like this. Since this is the left hand, this will be the pinky, ring finger, middle finger, and then the index finger. Now that we've got this uh, corrected, let's go ahead and start adding those knuckles. We're going to add a knuckle right here and then another one right here. So. Let's go ahead and do Command-R right here to add an edge loop. 
and then push this to about where the knuckle should be and let's say right about there now we need another one and another one and I could have just added let me undo that I could have just added it command R here but then I'd have to fix them here and so I'm just gonna add one put it where I want to be and then I'm gonna do command B for bevel B for bevel and then just move the mouse and spread them out now with the scroll wheel you can add more segments but I want to keep it at three just like that there's the first knuckle command R click move command B move boom command R click move command B move command R you get it guys and then the other knuckle on top of the finger the same procedure bevel all right so we've got two knuckles for each finger not a big deal and the next step is to make those uh, knuckles a little bit more prominent so let's go ahead and get that done I'm gonna turn off x-ray for a minute I'm gonna go to edge mode and I'm gonna select all the edges that are on top this is the knuckle right here right here and right here and then I'm gonna look at the bottom and select all the middle ones all the indentations right here right there so I've got all the top ones and all the middle ones and I think nothing else and then I'm just going to move them straight up boom like this this creates a little knuckle at the top of the finger and creates a little indentation at the bottom of the finger so that's cool now let's fix the tips um, let's go ahead and select the tips but only the bottom ones and let's move those in kind of like this to round off the tip of the finger and let's go ahead and select the top ones now and I like to push them up a little just a little like that and then out also what I'd like to do is maybe I'm gonna go to uh, vertex mode I turned on x-ray and the reason I turned on x-ray if I don't have it turned on and I select this I'm thinking I selected the whole row but it's only the front ones uh, if I turn on x-ray and I select these then I select the entire row so I can push this down just to make it a little give it a little bit of thickness towards the base of the finger all right cool so I think I'm done with the fingers except for that they're all the same size so I am going to select all these size them considerably because this is the pinky uh, and then move it and then rotate because I'm going to spread all the fingers select the next one size it just a little bit this is not too smaller than the middle finger and then rotate and then move rotate I'm just want I just want to make sure that it's kind of the same distance but straight the middle finger I'm gonna leave it there and then the index finger I'm gonna move it over here I'm gonna size it just a little bit and then rotate just like that I think I rotate I think I moved it a little bit too far right there all right cool let's check our work I am going to hit tab and right now it looks like it just very boxy boxy hand we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier let's go to the modifiers click on add a modifier subdivision surface modifier here it is I'm gonna add uh, one more level of, on the viewport and right click and shade smooth uh, and there's our hand so far not bad not bad at all here's our hand and let's add the thumb go to the top view or actually 
I'm going to stop the preview because I like working in polygon mode tab and I am going to go to face mode select this face and this face and that's where I'm going to extrude the thumb and so go ahead and uh, extrude rotate and size and there's the beginning of our thumb and if you'd like you can work in smooth preview just to see what that is looking like I'm going to rotate it just a little bit more extrude one more E again size and then move into place one more time E and size just a little bit and rotate I'm going to rotate it this way and you can see that the thumb is kind of forming itself all right I'm going to go to uh, vertex mode and start shaping this hand from the top view now this I want to move inward like this to give it a curve uh, maybe even a little bit more and then I want to move this a little higher to give it that uh, um, that little thing right there uh, maybe I don't know if I want to push this back a little <clears throat> and right now all I'm doing is looking at the hand and seeing where it might need a little help I'm just pushing some stuff around seeing where I need to be and to be honest I kind of like everything as is let's look at the uh, the side view and we want this thumb a little bit thicker so when we scaled we scaled everything so let's push this uh, out just to make it a little thicker Um, I like it the next step here is to extrude out out the back into the arm and so I am going to select the go hit tab go to object mode select the body and just hide it all right so we can have access to this tab I'm just gonna stop the preview here for a minute and the, the hand is looking a little boxy still because a, it was a box and so what I'd like to do is maybe bring these in this one down a little bit just to start rounding off the shape and then this down and then this one up just to start rounding off this shape I wanna also maybe average these out okay let's go ahead and extrude these uh, polygons uh, from the top view E to extrude I want to do one right close to the wrist and then uh, I'm just gonna keep extruding before I do um, I want to start rounding this off a little bit more so number one for polygon push this one a little down this one a little higher just start rounding off the shape a little bit more and then start pushing maybe these up one two three one two three and then start rounding off this shape one two three four top view and hit E to extrude and I can just now make it a little bit taller to round off the shape and E to extrude I'm 
Oh, the side view. I like that. From the top view. We're going to fix that a little bit. All right. One more E. And then one little one E. Just to retain the shape. So this one needs a little bit of work. That's okay. I think what we need to do is, is uh, size this. Oops. Make sure you're in uh, x-ray mode. Size this. And then I think I need to size this just a little bit right there. Move this. To give this thumb a little bit of uh, clearance. Let's go to the front view. Uh, I like this except for maybe the top shouldn't be th that thick. I like it. Hmm. Let's round this shape a little bit. I'm going to push these. I'm just looking at stuff that we can improve. And I'm going to push these down a little bit. And push maybe these down a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn on the preview. Let's uh, go into object mode and look at it. Let's look at this. And I like that hand. I'm OK with it. Let's bring back the body. There it is. The last thing we need to do is go ahead and duplicate this over. Uh, before I do though, I'm gonna maybe just size it a little bit in proportion with the body. Put it right on the sleeve. Make sure that it's in there. Because the next step that we do is we're going to mirror it to the other side. And so let's go ahead and get that done, guys. Uh, add a mirror modifier. Boom. And in the mirror modifier, select the mirror object, which is the body. There it is. And that's it. We're done, guys. We've done the hands. In the next video, we'll get the shoes done. And then after that, we need to add the material. So, hey guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.